Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Mojirao. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we're on a Sand Scorpion with a Jilly Mirror down in the south position. With the orange, this is big size. All the way up at the top left, facing him today. We have the red player with also the Jilly. I believe this was a Jilly Mirror challenge played between them both. And this is one of the later games in that challenge. This is uh, Boyka. Yeah, both expert players here, and I'm going to make a big prediction like I always do on this map. Whoever secures this is going to win. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Who is going to be the one to secure this? We've got size with a more aggressive tunnel here in the middle. And it's quite risky to do it that far forward, actually, because if Boyka made a terrorist straight from the beginning and sent it straight to the middle and denied that, you can instantly then lose the middle control because the the rpgs from there will go inside of both of them your tunnel will have to be cancelled your work will die for the terrorists so size so taking a bit of a uh, risk there and already it is paying off because it's even outranging this tunnel here so size is gonna fully load that and that is a very nice start there from size uh behind this he's going for a couple of rebels one to the middle and once this left side, technical straight down the middle. And that is a really, really strong start there for size. Already 143 XP. Is he going to be able to deny this from Boyka? He does deny this. And he gets himself a Vet 2 technical. I think he could have took that fight. And he could have won it. He's going to go back. Stop this worker. But is he going to stop this worker? Or is he going to focus somewhere else? He's got a technical going up to the top. Doesn't quite get there in time. Even if he had drove straight at that Rebel, I don't think he would have got there in time. But he's already now focusing on killing uh, the top oil there from Boyka. Yeah, Sizer seems to have a plan here in every action and everything that he's doing. But Boyka's already expanding over to the left-hand side onto this little island. But Size had a tunnel here as well. But Boyka is inside of these uh, buildings. Uh, Boyka's been allowed to get that middle oil. I have no idea how that is happening. How the hell did Boyka grab that oil? How has he grabbed that oil? When size just completely dominated the middle. I'm confused why that tunnel is even up there from size, to be honest. So it was kind of a flawless start there from size, but he's just let a few things slip in that last 60 seconds, which is kind of a little bit weird. Maybe he was focused elsewhere where I've missed. Uh, he does not have that oil. Size also expanding over to his left hand side. I think a technical here from Boyka, just straight over here to harass the workers. The building could be very nice. Size so making his way into the back of Boyka's base, but he's not going to be able to get anything done. He's not gone into that worker line. And Boyka's also done a perfect uh, box going on here in his base. But Big Size is pressing with quads in the middle. Does finally kill that oil. Uh, sorry, kill that tunnel. And he's going to capture that oil back for himself. So Size has got an advantage in the middle where he's focused, but he does not have an advantage over here where Boyka has the majority of the buildings. In fact, nearly every single building belongs to him. The size will get inside of this one, but that, that build in there is definitely going to die. Size still on a single arm stealer, whereas Boyka is on two. And size doesn't have his top oil either. He's, he hasn't got that one. And hasn't got that one. We can prepare in a TNT. It's got his palace now being built. Size only just upgrading to a second arms dealer, which is a fake. But he is building an extra supply there in the middle. Boyka coming in with a TNT on this position. And this is legendary. This really is legendary. There's nothing Size can do about that unless he's preemptively popped units. And Size is going to be kicked from this position. He's going to try and grab this oil. He might actually get it. I think Boyka can see that. Yeah, he can see it. But I think Size will get it anyway. But... To be honest, yeah, being kicked from this position is going to be very, very difficult for Size to come back from. Size is trying to make things happen elsewhere. Now he realizes the, the Scorpions here are out of position. So it might be one of those where Size is going to take the rest of the map, but Boyka is going to have this bottom left island and still his main base. So which position would you prefer? It's kind of even, I think. If Size really is taking the rest of it, like even if he takes that oil there as well, I think he's kind of even, but he's very late getting this one. There's still a rebel there, but he's not captured it just yet. Palace now being built by size. But Boykis is already on 
70%. Boykin now with a couple more defensive tunnels in his base, realizing that he's now susceptible to any attack from the middle and over on the right side too. Size being annoying with this grenade tech, killing a couple of workers. But Boyk is actually going to push in. This rebel's been denied again. And that oil is just going to be focused down. This technical making a run for it up again to the top position. That oil, I think, will go down. But is Boyk going to be able to escape with all them scorpions? going to be close. Needs to get out of that situation right now. I think he's going to lose his scorpions here. Not really paying attention here. He doesn't have retaliation mode on, so... Only when the quads or whatever go close are those scorpions actually fighting back. Technical here for Boyka. That was a bit of a weird explosion. The rocket seemingly already hit it, but just followed it for a while. We can now in a battle burst, but it does go down to the hole. We can also push in with his scorpion as well. It seems to have the superior numbers here. Size of the big counter pop. And yeah, quite a lot of scorpions there for Boyka do go down. John McCall now in action for, for Boyka as well. I think he's trying to capture this oil, but the scorpions are pushing for size. Is going to take out the, uh, the rebel. So size is on four royals and the middle supply. So I think size is actually economically ahead. So it turns out my prediction might be wrong after all. Because if that supply is cancelled out by that supply, and then the, uh, the four royals that size has, actually, is it five? It's got five royals. Greedy guy, man. The five royals pro de well, definitely outweighs that. So yeah, it turns out my prediction might be wrong, actually. So Boykin now on a lot of buggies. Got four buggies out already. Size so build in a couple of markets. Uh, Boy could build in markets as well, but he's setting up camp properly over on this left-hand side. I think Boykin needs to TNT some of these oils, get them out of play. Uh, when he can when he can squeeze a TNT out, when he can actually afford it. And actually make sure it hits his target as well, because quite a lot of RPGs guarding around. I think a TNT straight through the middle could work. Yeah, at least killing this, this one here could be an option. There is a quad cannon here now for size. There's some random terrorists here for Boyka, to be honest. Does go down. Size is going to push now at a bit of a beast of an army. Is Boyka going to make a run for it? He is making a run for it with the buggy. He's going to hang around with the battle bus a little bit. Trying to chip away at some of these units of big size. I think he will get a couple of these units of size. Size is then going to retreat. Actually, size only loses one quad. But size now got his buggies as well. And another battle bus there for Boyka does go down pretty much instantly. I think a couple of the guys died actually when it went down to the hole. And Boyka now a little bit on the run from Sizer's bit of a beast of an army. But Boyka did finish that oil, though. Size is now only on four oils. But I think Sizer's on more markets. This one has been uh, obviously killed. So, yeah, sorry. He's on only three oils. Sizer's now an attack from the right. Yeah, a lot of defensive funnels here from Excal. Sorry, not from Excal. What am I talking about? From Boyka. I just did an Excal replay before this. <laughs> Excal in the brain. And uh, jean Miguel goes down, did snipe a couple of RPGs, but probably didn't pay for himself that well. Size is getting the bounty money, but is Boyka getting the bounty money? Yeah, he is getting the bounty money as well. So both, both players built the CC, um, scaffold at least, and then cancelled it. Getting the bounty money, and Size continues to press here, but Boyka does have quite a lot of uh, buggies himself. And he's picking off sizes as well. I think he's only got like three buggies remaining now. 
Whereas Boyka does have quite a lot. So yeah, two markets for Boyka over on the left side. Size with, yeah, like what, five and a Scud Storm going up as well. I think size still at an economic advantage. Boyka's collecting with loads of workers here, but loads of them are going around the arms dealer. Don't know if that actually slows you down more so. Boyka's somehow got a buggy there in a bit of a weird position behind Sizer's tunnels. That's one thing Boyka could do. He could pop from there and actually try and pick off some of these things. But the problem is Sizer's is in so many positions with these tunnels. He's literally split Boyka's base in half, hasn't he? Uh, you got Boyka's old base up here and his uh, little island base down at the bottom left and it's kind of split. Demichar from Boyka there goes down and continued to be a trade-off here. Continues to be a trade-off. Five buggies now for Boyka. He's trying to break through this line from size. Size does pop a couple of buggies himself. Picks off two. And Boyka is sent running away for the time being. Continues to be a burger trade-off, but uh, size losing uh, his two there. Whereas Boyker has still got five out. I assume size is still building more, and he probably has more inside of his tunnel. Maybe he's got two inside of his tunnel, but Jean Kell here. Putting in some good work for Boyker. Have we actually seen the Jean Kell from size yet? That's a good question. Yeah, Boyker getting a bit of momentum now. This tunnel over here is stealth, so does size know it's there or not? This one does need finishing as well. Does finish it. Terror is probably going to get that scorpion. But size remains in this position over here. That could come back to bite Boyka later on, especially if he builds something important here. Could be a bit of a pop there from size. Get the cancel on it. Ooh, that demo trap could be very nice. Size does have a scud storm up now. Ooh, gets two buggies for a demo trap. Definitely worth it. Good storm also up for Boyker, and he's building a second one. He's building a, a real CC now to finish. Does size already have a CC? Size is spread around quite a lot, to be honest. You often see him in this position, late game GLA, a base very, very spread. So one Scud storm in any one place is going to kill. I mean, there you could probably scrape by and kill two markets. But in most places, you're probably going to kill just one building. Yeah, things are evening up a little bit. I think I thought Size had a big advantage before. But Boyker is gaining a lot of momentum with these buggies. Continues to push Size back. And for every one of these tunnels he's killing, he's getting like 101 XP. So he's actually approaching level 5. A lot quicker than Size is. A thousand more XP, or actually more than a thousand XP. Boyker does lose a couple of buggies there. Has to make a run for it for the time being. Boyka continues to be annoying with his Jarman. That's not an Anthrax bomb. It's actually dropping off Scorpions for Boyka's little bonus building down at the bottom left. He's decided to capture that as well. Uh, but he is only like 750-ish away from level 5. Even closer now. Five, 550, just over 550 XP needed. Boyka building a third Skid Storm now. Already has a second out. So yeah, it's kind of not been clear who's going to win all the way through this. And the more Scud Storms being built for size. I think what it might come down to is whose base is the most compact. Like, where would you rather take a Scud Storm? Like, a Scud Storm on Boyka's base, even if you just targeted that palace, you'd get two tunnels with it. Might even get a bit of that. Or you could target in between and probably kill. Maybe you could leave some of these down to the hole. 
But it's going to cause a lot more damage, isn't it? It's going to kill, like, target that skid storm. You're going to kill three or four tunnels around it as well. Target there. You're going to kill, like, a barracks. All of this stuff, you can kill all these buildings and get the XP for it as well. Whereas Sizer's base is, like, so spread out. Like, you kill that, you're just going to kill the palace. You target it there. You might be able to kill both of them buildings. But it's, like, a, just a lot more spread out. You can clearly see that from Sizer's, Sizer's base. All the orange dots out on the map. Apart from there, he's built it a little bit close. Maybe a nice little black market up there on the top. Could be nice. And this is where I said before, this is going to come back to bite Boyka. There's still a tunnel down here. Boyka's found it now, but has is size going to react to it? I think size could have popped there, you know. He could have uh, he could have killed that fake market that was being built. But size, yeah, I don't think he's used that as much as it could have had. It could have had a big impact. Could have got the kill on that as well. Could have even won that engagement. It's only five buggies. We could just racking up the <laughs> scorpions down at the bottom left. Size of Jarman finally made an appearance, but then got annihilated by Boykers. So Boykers now got a Vet 2 Jarman. Not quite a Vet 3 Jarman yet, if he gets a Vet 3 Jarman. Obviously, the game will automatically end, and, and Boykers will not be able to lose the game. Yeah, obviously, that's a joke. <laughs> the, the, the meme that came from it was many years ago. Size and Boykers played a challenge against each other. Uh, it was a game on Forgotten Air Battle. It was like. Uh, Infantry against GLA, I want to say, or Inf against Demo. Probably Inf against GLA. Size had loads of hackers, the internet center, hackers spread everywhere. Uh, I knew Boyk had like two markets and was camping in like a 10 percentile, <laughs> a 10 percent chunk of the map. And there was a mismatch, and Boyk said it was 50 50 because he had a Vet 3 Jarman on the bike. <laughs> That's where that meme game came from. It was a live stream. So Boyka tried to sneak attack here and almost finished that good. I think that's going to die, actually. You know, I think it is going to die. Because this toxin behind the scenes is doing a very, very tiny amount of damage. Like 0 0.00001. So even though that looks like it's on 1 HP behind the scenes, it's actually on 0 0.00000 something. And it is, uh, it is slowly, slowly taking damage. There you go. It's finished. Yeah, you see that? You see the spanner? It's taking like a really, really small decimal point of damage and then gets repaired. Uh, but we can use GLA uh, GPS scramble on a ton of workers there. So he could try to get them into size of space, but can he realistically get in any position where there's not a tunnel for size? Size has so many tunnels. I think we'd probably better do a market count as well. Like, it's three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two oils there with like three markets. That's like 17. Plus, you got that one as well. You're talking like nearly 19 markets. I don't even know which skirt is hit where now. Okay, let's take two off again. Let's go back to 17 markets. But then if we look at Boykers, he's got two here. Three, four, five, six against like 17 markets, there or thereabouts. So size is a big economy advantage. And his base is more spread out. And he's got an extra Scud Storm. So I think size is considerably ahead here. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's correct. A decent sneak attack. Boyka's obviously preparing a sneak attack because he's got a hell of a lot of scorpions still. There we go. Literally just called it, but this good storm's already going to fire. Ooh, but it only fires a few missiles there for a big size. Where is that going to hit? Looks like in the back of the base. So not devastating, actually. Boyka did stop it in the nick of time. That, uh... Ooh, bit of a Fargo pop there from Boyka. Boyka has to commit to it with the last couple of units because he's got nowhere else to run. 
Does manage to pick off a few size units there, but ultimately, I think Buika lost quite a chunk of stuff there. And Frag Bomb now for big size, up in the top left. Or down in the top left, rather. Yeah, it's kind of nice because you get all the XP there. Sorry, not all the XP, all the bounty money for the worker kills. I think Buika's just getting slowly, slowly chipped away. Jarman versus Jarman, and the Vetsy Jarman comes out on top, gets a $300 cash bounty for killing the enemy Jarman. So that means he is getting the full 20%. Boy can now only on two scuds, size on four. And that's after size already lost one. He's rebuilding it in the same place. Size trying to get some damage done here as well. I think he's going to pick off this arms dealer of Boyka. Another scud storm ready to fire from big size. Not it has got this to worry about here though. It's quite a lot of units pushing for Boyka. He's fired it onto the production inside of Boyka's base. And size now has five scud storms. Yeah, we need to watch in like three positions at the moment. That causes a lot of damage. These buggies still causing damage. And Boyka continues to push up in the top of the map. I think Boyk is just wearing out too thin. Did I count those markets before? Can't remember if I did or not. But even so, he's still behind. Boyk is picking off an oil. Could go up there, get himself in an awkward position behind here. I think Sai's got too many buggies out again. John Mankell for Boyk. Can he be killed by them buggies? Let's see. Yeah, he goes down. $300 back in the pocket there of size. Let's kick up Launching scud storm. Which scud storm is it? I'm so lost now. Who's fired was scud? Okay, one's from Boyka. That's going to be on the production over here. That is very nice because you just killed that. Oh, all them buggies there of size. But also size has attacked the uh, base of Boyka up in the top. And yeah, because his base is more compact. We also saw a saboteur there from size. I think he's reset that of Boyka. You can see there it's literally reset back to five minutes. Um, okay, nice defense there from size. Maybe that was from Boyka actually. Because size had a five minute scud though, but is it that one? I think it's that one. Yeah, Boyk is still in it. He's got three markets here. I think that's a barracks that's going to rebuild. But Sai still has the middle oil and he's had it for pretty much the entire game. Uh, every other oil is dead there. John McCall will be handed here again. Uh, Boyk coming in with an anthrax bomb. Size is already on the retreat. And doesn't really lose anything apart from... Three RPGs, but Boyka also lost two as well. It's not the best Anthrax bomb in the world, but at least it keeps Boyka's buildings alive for now because he's been losing ground here for a long time. It's very interesting how Size only really half-heartedly went for this bottom left island, but he focused heavily on the, on the middle and then also reacted. Like when he was losing the bottom left, he reacted and took the top. So yeah, it's interesting how... Yeah, usually well, at the start of the replay, I literally said whoever gets the bottom left island is probably going to win. But in this case, I was wrong. Pop of buggies here from size. Let's take out all the scorpions there of Boyka that was pushing into size's base. Size will have to repop from further back. And has he just fired a skirt? Or did I imagine that? He has fired one. That's actually down in the bottom left. He's going to find the palace and he's going to get the reinforcement pad as well. That's a nice little hit, to be honest, because you're going to get that market there as well. 
And Boyka just quits. Well played you there. It's a big victorious. size, to be honest. Really, really nice. Yeah, I totally thought the person who gets the bottom left island, which was Boyka, really nice TNT on them tunnels from size. Thought he was going to win because of that, but size just focused heavily on the mid and the top. Yeah, at one point he had five oils, which I really did not understand how that happened. So I suppose I need to caveat what I say next time and say, whoever gets the bottom left island and holds the other bridges, then wins. <laughs> Because if you lose all the rest of the map and you get that bottom left island, then it kind of kind of counteracts it, doesn't it? Because size literally took all the oils on the map, which is very, very impressive. So yeah, GG. Well played. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Get NordVPN if you want to protect yourself on Game Ranger. Use on my link. And I'll see you in the next one.